Good morning, morning, Bulldogs. I'm William. And I'm Nate. Last week was a really fun weekend. Prom took place at Via Siena. Let's look at some highlights. Welcome to prom. Let me show you around. Beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful life. Look at him, businessman. My name is Red Taylor. I'm Rocky Schoenberger. And it is absolutely amazing to be nominated for Palm Queen, King and Queen. I'm Brady Wright. I'm Maya Weaver. And, and life, life is, is good. good. All right, I'm Justin. I'm Fran. Life, life is, good. is good. I'm Karen Rogers. And I'm Haley Arn. And, and life, life is, is good. good. Life is good. <laughs> Your 2021 prom king and queen is Justin and Fran. Good, I suppose. We're living it up right now. Life is good. Seniors, you're on a 10-day countdown. Are you ready to graduate? Here's your last to-do list. So the last couple of things that you're going to want to do as we come up on graduation, which is like you're in countdown mode, um, is going to be turn in your 21 acceptance Google form for the College and Career Center. That's going to let us know where, where, what your plans are, whether you're going to go to school, whether you're going to go into the workforce. And then the second thing is for those of you who are eligible, we've got a senior scholarship and awards night. And that's going to be senior class principals list, top 5% of the class. Um, QCHS department awards, um, military recognition, and um, college scholarships. So that's all going to happen on Tuesday, May 4th. So make sure you get all your information into me as soon as possible. And that way, if you are eligible for that event, we have all the information for you to get your recognition. For seniors, there'll be a list in the hallway by the bookstore to see if you have any books checked out. Seniors, make sure you complete the 2021 College Acceptance Google Form and let us know if you're going to go to the Senior Scholarship Night event on May 4th, RSVP in the College and Career Center classroom. Culinary and Ceramics teamed up to help out local charities. Culinary Arts is partnering with the Ceramics Department each year to hold an empty bowl event in which you pay $10, you pick your bowl, and then we provide you with a meal to fill your bowl. All the proceeds are to benefit a local charity, and this year the students cho excuse me, chose to benefit Panda Vida of Santan Valley. Um, in past years, we have held the event on site, in person. This year is a little bit different, so we're holding it all week long. Um, go to the bookstore for only $10, um, purchase, pre-purchase your bowl. Come to the old-fashioned room that's next to the culinary kitchen. Pick your bowl from the assortment that we have, and then Culinary Arts will provide you with a to-go container of minestrone soup made by scratch by the culinary department. Hey, I'm from Ceramics, and we are making bowls for the culinary department who is going to be selling these with soup in order to raise funds. We also want to congratulate Genesis for a $2,500 scholarship in visual arts. This Wednesday, Hosa helped sponsor a blood drive. I donated, and let's see who else did. This week, 104 Bulldogs gave their blood for the host of Blood Drive. Caitlin Newman, who runs the Blood Drive, is happy about the turnout and all the generous donations. All right, we are at the Blood Drive. People are giving their blood today. We have a ton of people showing up. Remember that when you give blood, you can save up to three lives with it. And we'd love to see you here next time. 
My name's Zachary Merrill. I'm giving blood today because I know that it helps people a lot when you donate blood. It's a good thing to do. Culinary is always up to something good. As a matter of fact, they made cookies for this week's blood drive. Last weekend, Culinary also went to the Big Boy Cook Club to volunteer with CCAP. Last Sunday, Culinary students volunteered for the Big Boy Cook Club, an event hosted by Aaron May at his restaurant, Ocotillo. Hello, my name is Tamaris Phillips. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I met Aaron May, who is throwing this event, when we were on Triple G, so guys, grocery games. Um, we're both judges. Sometimes we compete against each other. He usually wins. But I think today, if you put my fried chicken salad up against his lock, I would win. That's, what, that's why I came. I came to just beat Aaron May. CCAP students got to help chefs prepare their food as well as serve it to guests. With this, they gained real culinary experience from world-class chefs. Hi, I'm Jacob Catino with Catino Sauce Company. Uh, we started about 2015. We are local farmers markets and uh, we've been around for about six years. We are here with the Big Boy Cook Club, just featuring our new limited strawberry sauce. So we did a uh, dehydrated strawberry with powdered sugar on a donut hole and uh, strawberry hot sauce on a chicken wing. I'm Alicia with BVTV. JROTC is having a car wash tomorrow, all day, so come get your car clean. Tennis state contenders are practicing even in the rain for today's state tournament. In other sports news, Boys Volleyball have their senior night on Wednesday against Mountain Point. Their next game is May 5th against Red Mountain. Varsity Baseball crushed Shadow Ridge 21-1 on Tuesday, and their next home game is on May 4th against Mountain View. Varsity Softball is currently number two in the state, winning 10 games straight. They crushed Shadow Ridge this week, and they have a game tonight versus Boulder Creek. Sands Volleyball's last game was on Wednesday. Great job to all of the seniors this year. Track and Field is a home meet tonight, so good luck to everyone competing. Tomorrow, the marching band has their first day leading of summer. Good luck to all the incoming freshmen. That's all the news we have for this week, Bulldogs. Remember to be kind, show integrity, and be respectful. Have, have a good, good weekend, weekend, Bulldogs. Bulldogs.